emerging ecclesia. I feel like there's so many different things that we could pray about, but something that has been in my heart for the, um, since the beginning of this year and through all the shakings of 2020, and as I feel and everyone feels that we've been ushered into a new season, um, the cry from my heart has been, God, I'm desperate for something new. I'm desperate for something more. And I, not just my heart, I feel it in everyone around me, Christian and non-Christian, there's this deep desire for something new. And so I've been praying that we as the bride of Christ would really take our time in this season to, to lay our hearts before the Lord and our minds and our paradigms and the way we think and say, God, come and establish something in us that is unshakable, that will last not only my lifetime but my kids and my grandkids would taste the fruit of this year and of this season that we would we would no longer just prophesy about things but we would become the prophecy we would become the living stones that we would be marked with his presence and his purity and we would be operating in his power in all spheres of our lives in the small mundane things and the big events that um that we would be the answers to the world's cries and the the problems we would we would come with the solutions um, that we would really manifest heaven wherever we go. And so my prayer for us and the Emerging Ecclesia is that, yes, we desire all these things, but that we would really come humbly before the Lord in the season and not rush ahead of Him, but say, come and mark us. Come and dwell within us. Come and change us. Come and purify us. Come and redefine. Come and speak to us. Um, and come and establish in us your heart and your desires and your ways.